well they're like wow well, usually i don't pause and it's much more consistent because we're just exactly going. so we're drawing them over and then you yeah do the hit and then you fall and right and this is how far we go now pretty far uh, obviously, this is not how far you usually go. The only reason we go this fast because of the bullet time. So we mm -hmm. use bullet time to speed link up a lot. And now we're in the air and we realize we don't have a glider. So this is kind of bad because even though we are going really fast, the game still keeps track of fall damage. Thankfully, there's a way to prevent this too, which is um, by doing something called a fall damage cancel. So by throwing your weapon, like I did there, you can already see Link just basically was about to throw his weapon away and then unequip an item, for example, the shield, the fall damage will not happen. Uh, this is, I don't know exactly the game mechanics that happen there, but essentially the second when I unequip the shield there, the game uh, recalculated the fall damage. So the second I did that is when the game actually thought this is where I started falling from. So it was only like a meter or something. So I didn't take any fall damage. Interesting. Yeah, it must be like priority based. Sure. So this all starts <laughs> by uh, doing a glitch called bow sliding. Bow sliding is done super easily. You hold out your bow like this, so you don't aim with it, so you don't hold the bow button, you tap it. So Link basically holds the bow in his hand like this. If we now press B and then instantly after press plus, so Link basically still has the bow in his hand, and then unequip our shield, or remove it, I think it's both uh, like unequip like this, we are now uh, bow locked. Bow locked means, and you can look specifically at Link's arrow, when I press B here, the arrow disappears, but the bow doesn't. So I'm locked. Link is locked. The bow, he can't unequip the bow. He's, he's forced to hold the bow. This is called um, bow lock. Um, and by, by now jumping and holding the B button, I'm going to be jumping forward and then only hold the B button and forward. I'm going to be moving like this. Looks a bit unnatural. Right. Uh, Link is basically walking right now, but because he's bow locked and his his like state is locked, it looks unnatural. It looks like he's sliding around yeah. <laughs> uh, over the ground. This um, is this, it, it looks very satisfying on a speedrunning movement. Mm -hmm. So this is going to get a little bit deeper now. You can use the round bomb for this or the square bomb. The round bomb accelerates faster mm -hmm. and stays speedy in the air more consistently the only downside is when you set up the glitch the round bomb obviously rolls which can actually be really annoying sometimes when there's a big slope but here on the flat surface we can use it so after placing down the bomb we need to hold out our shield and then tap the bow and then the a button now link is holding the bow like earlier for the basically the bow lock and the bomb at the same time the next step is the only hard step about the glitch you have to jump Press B and then plus immediately after. Like this. You can see Link is about to put the bomb away, but he hasn't fully done it yet. Mm -hmm. If we now unequip the shield and press B again, Link is holding the bomb and the uh, bow again. Mm -hmm. And if we now aim, you can basically see the, the bomb is like stuck on Link's hand, right? So we're right. smuggling the bomb right now. Now we are set up. We are bow locked and we are holding the bomb. So we are going to be in the state that we were in earlier, where Link slides on the ground. But additionally, we are holding a bomb and this causes this to happen. <laughs> so now we are basically sliding. But additionally, this bomb that Link is holding is pushing us. And by flicking my control stick from left to right very fast, I'm able to build up insane speed midair without even using the paraglider. So this might already be able to tell you how broken this is because we're not using stamina right now and this is why this is so broken uh, we obviously start the game with one ring of stamina uh, which means every time we do like a wind bomb or a bullet time bounce and use the paraglider we are restricted by the use of stamina but right. that's not the case with this glitch we have basically now made it from the great plateau to kakariko in 20 30 seconds without ever using stamina and this is why this is extremely powerful for long distance.